All right, so here we go. We got the heat sink that I built. Here are the 320X drivers. They are mounted onto a piece of aluminum right here. Then I found some $6 CPU, uh, <laughs> there's Rowdy, some CPU fans with heat sinks, and I mounted them to the other side. And what you can see here, here was the first attempt of doing it. Now the problem was though that this metal is so shallow, and it was the last that I had, that the bolts were going through and you know if I put in the heat sink first the screws would interfere with the positioning of this of the drivers if I put the drivers in first it would interfere with the positioning of this so I kinda had to offset them a little bit and then used a lot of a uh, uh, CPU paste that I got from Discount Electronics for a uh, buck for about 3.5 grams of it it's a great deal if you have a Discount Electronics or you're in the Austin area that's where you should go to get your heat sink stuff or pretty much any minor uh, computer accessories. The fans are all then connected to this external power supply and from what I guess I learned is that the yellow wires are pretty much not necessarily or not necessary, they're used to report back the RPMs to the computer of the fan, but since we don't really care about that then I just wired their red and blacks to the yellows and blacks of this power supply which kind of simulates a computer power supply with these, you know, four pin things, two of them are used. It also has a three volt um, setup that I'm not going to use. I'm just going to use these two to power those fans and these fans for the case. Um, I didn't know what the load was on these. I know they're 12 volts, but I didn't know the milliamps on that. These ones said they're about one point, uh, where is it? Amp, yeah, 0.16 amps, which comes about 160 milliamps. So four of these and maybe two of these should be well under the thousand milliamps of the power supply. So hopefully we should be good there, no overloading that. Uh, and I'll go ahead and power it on for you. So we got the switch here, and we'll watch and see if it picks up anything. Everything's looking good. Use a little bit of heat shrink tubing. And then over here you can kind of see the remnants of the milling process for the bracket. Alright, until next time.